the gaming crypto market is having a little bit of a breather. So let's discuss the top crypto gaming coins that you guys should probably take a look at right now in the month of December because it may very well be your opportunity to start a position dollar cost average or even just start your research into them. Of course, nothing in my videos is ever financial advice. You need to go out and do your own research. And of course, guys, we don't know what's going to happen next. This may be like I've been discussing here on the channel the end of the bear market rally like we had in 2019. So keep that information at the forefront of your mind. That's why we often talk about dollar cost averaging here on the channel. If the market continues to go down, you can continue to get better prices for your money. So make sure you have a game plan before you do anything in this market. And guys, if you like gaming tokens and you like to stay up to date with the crypto markets each and every day, do me one single favor and just smash that like button and let's jump into it. Now, if we look at Becker's, Alex Becker's portfolio, which we built here, on the channel. It is down 13% from when he made his video. Pretty much every single coin or token that he mentioned in his video about a week ago is down apart from Beam and Immutable X. Now, with that said, our gaming portfolio here on this channel is still up 154%. So timing is very important in this market. I was discussing us being in a two, in a two euphoric stage in the market recently here on this channel. I got a lot of shit for it but this is what happens the market is now on a pullback and we don't know for sure what will happen next but what we need to do is take opportunity when opportunity arises okay so let's go through some altcoins that you may want to get on your radar right now that you might not already have in your portfolio so first of all we have cedify cedify is a launch pad where you guys can actually get involved in gaming tokens very early on I've been speaking about Cedify here on this channel since the price was around 70 cents. I also spoke about Cedify before that and in the last bull market because I was using them in the last bull market and I'm still, even to this day, claiming tokens that I got from back then. And if we look at CryptoRank.io, we can see on the year to date, Cedify has been the best performing IDO platform there is out there. So, Again, another reason why you might want to start your research is the fact that in the last week, Cedify is actually down quite significantly, right? Giving you a better price than if you had have chased the FOMO that was around about a week ago. In market cap wise, it is just under a $200 million market cap. If we do go to their max in the last bull run, they reached a high of around 328. So we are not far off that right now, but again, an opportunity to potentially get this on your radar. And within the Cedify ecosystem, they actually also have another token called SNFTS. This is for their NFT launchpad. Now, this is only a $21 million market cap, and that is, of course, because there is not much hype going when it comes to NFTs. If there is, this may very well take off. So what I would do is, again, do some research into this and see if it's something that you want to have in your portfolios or at least on your radar. Now, on to our next project. This is today's channel sponsor. They reached out to me and I thought they would be perfect for today's video. We have Dega. The price today is down 4.1% with a fully diluted valuation of 971,000. So this is a micro cap project that is introducing a new era in the crypto gaming landscape. Dgen Play is fully developed and currently live and allows players players to engage using BNB. The platform's international marketing is set to commence early next year, aiming for worldwide adoption. This strategic move marks a significant step in Dega's expansion. And in addition to Dega Play, a second game, currently around 75% through development, is anticipated for release in the first quarter of 2024. Now, Dega's ecosystem integrates gaming with NFT rewards, and players who hold Dega's NFTs are eligible for BNB rewards. These are derived from total revenues generated by the games. Financially, the ecosystem supports the token with 5% of BNB generated allocated towards purchasing Dega tokens. This is potentially creating a consistent buying pressure of the project. 
Now the Dega NFT marketplace is fully developed and operational and further enhances the platform's capabilities. The VIP round of the NFT sale was success with 364 NFTs sold at one BNB each. Now the launch of the Dega token, which happened on December 5th, actually resulted in a massive price increase that we can see here on the chart. Right now, the liquidity for this project is 169,000, with like I said, a market cap of just under 1 million. The second round of revenue awards for the NFT launches on December 18th, which is the day of filming this video, and features 25% of the token's buyback strategy. For those interested in purchasing Dega tokens, it is available on PancakeSwap right now, but you will need to have a slippage of 4.5 to 5%. The token contract is directly accessible on Dega's website, and if you do want to learn more about the project, as they are today's channel sponsor, I'll leave all of the links down there in my description. Now, moving on to our next project, we have Sidus. Now, Sidus is an interesting one right now at 61 million. I have met the team in person and today they are down 10%. Remember, a move of 10% means that even if this project goes back to where it was 24 hours ago, that would be a 20% gain. So it's interesting to note. With that said, on the last seven days, we have had a drastic plummet in the price to the price it sits today at around 0.006 and the high was actually 0.0086. So around a 30% drop there from the high, meaning this could be a good opportunity. If you haven't heard of Sidus, they do have under just under 400,000 followers on Twitter. They do have games that are already live that I've actually played myself and they are planning to build one of the the biggest Web3 metaverse gaming projects out there. The graphics look great and there is a whole token economy behind this project. As you know, there is a lot of excitement around gaming tokens. So again, this could be a great opportunity. And these are the kind of things we want to be paying attention to on these pullbacks. Now, a project that I brought to you guys super early on. This is still up significantly since I brought this to you. This is Game or G-A-M-E-E. -E. The price today is just under four cents with a 26.5 million dollar market cap. I particularly like this project because of their partners that they had in the space like Polygon, Binance Labs, Sandbox, NASA and Animoco Brands and some of the marketing that they've been doing. Marketing in this space is a big thing. I know some of you guys don't like marketing, don't like paid sponsorships like we have here on this channel, but this is a huge part of actually bolstering eyeballs on a project which we need for the price to go up. So it's not actually a bad thing and it also shows that a project has money. This is something that we want for project growth, but Talking about that, it's their partnerships here with Manchester City, which was actually one of the things that stood out to me the most. But they have partnerships with Manchester City, Guinness World Records, Atari, Sandbox, and, and NASA, like we already spoke. They are available on a number of different exchanges as well. So right now, at a $26 million market cap, it's still significantly smaller than a lot of the competition out there. And what they're doing is creating Web3 games for mobile gaming, right? So I think this could be a very huge, huge space that they are trying to combat. And they currently have 63,000 followers over on Twitter. Now, finally, very small cap, DGEN project, not sponsored at all, something that I came across over on Twitter a while ago, right now at a $3 million market cap. I brought it to you guys first under a million, so we still are up over 3x here, but tiny market cap, but the game looks very interesting to me. I think they're doing a good job here. It's a play to earn, play to burn game. And it reminds me personally of a game I used to play when I was younger called Maple Story. Now that's just the graphics, but this could be potentially another Axie Infinity or something like that. No idea though. Of course, it might go absolutely nowhere and uh, it might just die. But I did like what they were doing. And of course, it's on a significant pullback. So it may be an opportunity here. Their Twitter is only around 3,000 followers. So again, I reckon something that you might want to check out. Now, the reason why I picked these projects that we spoke about today was because these are the biggest these are the biggest moves downwards that we have in our gaming portfolio. With Champions of Athena, Champs down 34%, Game down 22%, Sidus down 18.5%, and Cedify down 15.8. You know you're thinking, well, if the price has gone down, you shouldn't really be talking about it. But no, that's exactly the mindset that we want to shift. We want to shift into a mindset where we hold projects for the long term, taking profits when things get a little bit crazy, when we are in a real crazy bull market, which I don't actually think we're in yet. And what we actually want is if the project that we're in 
is for a long-term investment. We actually want the price to go down in the short term so we can build a bigger position in that project and that will cost less in turn, giving us more returns. That's the way I think about this. You guys need to make your own decisions in this market. I have no idea what's gonna happen and I only invest money I can afford to lose. If the cryptocurrency market goes to zero tomorrow, I will not be in a bad financial state because I practice diversification and I only play with money I can afford to lose. With that said, guys, hopefully I've provided you some value today. Please let me know your favorite gaming tokens down there in the comment section and I'll see you guys, of course, in the next video. Peace.